Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your October 2nd to October 8th weekly love reading. I do apologize for the delay. There's been some really strong energies and they've been affecting me in a huge way. Now this may or may not resonate with you as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you so whatever falls out I'm going to go ahead and lay down. Now, this is for Leo. October 2nd to October 8th. All right, so the basis of your reading is the Emperor. That is the sign of Aries. That can be a father or a mother figure or somebody in authority. It also could be you remaining in control this week, taking control of a situation, remaining con in control of your thoughts, in control of your family, in control of your home, remaining structured, organized, um, just taking the lead in a situation, okay? Um, it can also be somebody in authority, all right? That is the basis of your reading. It is connected to Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and it is connected to hard work, all right? So it looks like you are probably very um, organized and structured this week, Leo. And, or you're working on that, remaining, you know, organized. We do have some sneakiness right next to it, something going on, all right? And it could have something to do with a partner, I'm not sure. But this right here, the Seven of Swords, this is like sneaky, um, something like that. We'll get more into it. Um, we do have you right here with this Queen of Wands. This is a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Um, we do have a Taurus right here. But this is listening to your inner guide. It's also about guidance of some sort. You may be seeking guidance from above this week. You may be getting answers that you've been seeking. They may be finally coming to you and you are hearing them. Um, I see that you have some pretty high expectations here. And um, this could have something to do with this Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. And this is your expectations. You've been expecting things to happen. And it could have something to do with finances. And I think that you've been working very hard, perhaps, on a relationship. Because it looks like we have a relationship here for many of you. But some of you could be missing an opportunity in love because we have this missed opportunity. Perhaps um, somebody's not giving you the attention or you're not getting the attention that you desire or you're not giving it okay some re for some reason there's a uh, lost opportunity in love but it, i'm not sure what that is because we have this new fresh start right underneath it maybe that's in the past all right because underneath it we have the fool which tells me that you're about to take a leap of faith and jump into something perhaps head first we do have a couple sevens here along with that fool the, the fool has to have faith to jump, okay, into the unknown. And sevens are about faith. And so I can tell right off the bat that you, this is a week of having faith in the, unknown, in the unknown, okay. Um, it does look like you're going to be very satisfied. It looks like your wishes um, could be fulfilled. Now pay attention, this may or may not resonate with all of you because it is for hundreds and thousands of people. Um, 
I think that there's been some delays of some sort, and I think it's it has to do with you because these delays are next to you. I think that you need to look ne look at something from a new perspective, and it has to do with your expectations. I think your expectations, you've been expecting something to happen or something, and perhaps it hasn't, and maybe that's why... Um, this could be connected to this lost opportunity in love or something like that because it, I think maybe a relationship has, has, has been affected because of um, negative ex expectations, okay? Negative, and what I mean by that is you th having your guard up, you feeling like you have to defend yourself and you have feeling like you have to be in control of a situation you know like you have to know everything you know what i mean this is this, this person is very controlling and it is the basis of your reading and you know you could only be deceiving yourself that's probably what that deceit this this deceiving is you know that this sneakiness and i don't think that you're being sneaky but i think that you're deceiving yourself because we have the lovers up there so i think there's a strong attraction between you and another person but you're at like a, a crossroads right now or you're at like a, a a stalemate because you haven't had faith in a relationship and i think that maybe this week you know Maybe that's the end of that. We have the Ten of Swords right here. This is the end of a negative thought when the Ten of Swords comes up. So yeah, I think you guys have had this quite a bit. And it's been going, 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 going. And it's been coming. And you guys have been trying to release this negative thought. And you've been working really hard. You've been seeking guidance from above. Maybe even from a counselor. You've been really listening to your inner guide. And I see that you are growing and you're working on it. Um... But you still have the need to um, know because you want you want to prevent anything from happening because you're the leader. You're the you're the I would say head of the household. I mean because that's what he he is or head of whatever, and you're trying to prevent anything from happening, and you have to do that by remaining in control. So I think that is definitely affecting your relationship and you're only deceiving yourself by not letting go of the need to control, by not just letting things happen. This is saying that you need to take a leap of faith into the unknown, okay? Release the fear and just go with the flow um, because it's affecting your love. It is affecting your love. This right here is the world card. When this, this is a destiny, okay? Everything happens for a reason. When you get the world card in the reading, it means that you, something big is being learned from this. It's a big major life lesson, okay? So I think that you really are about to reach the finish line regarding these negative thoughts that are in your head. I think you are, and I think it was a lesson that needed to be learned. Maybe it was a lesson that you planned to learn before you were born. I don't know. But it's some kind of lesson that needed to be learned. It looks like a new chapter is right ahead of you. As soon as you have the faith to do it. And, and the faith in the unknown to take a leap into something that you just don't know what's going to happen. All right? And to just go with the flow and release your need to control. All right? To the control of the situation and keep everything organized and to prevent your self from being hurt and to prevent your children from being hurt and just go with the flow okay because i see that this is a strong need to be in control and but you've definitely been working on it and um it looks like you have the potential for a lot of satisfaction here you know and this is also an ego card the nine of cups and this person can kind of have an ego very materialistic very um it really has a lot of pride, all right? So, and that is the basis of your reading. Maybe you need to let go of the pride so that, and and just go with the flow and understand that whatever happens is meant to be, okay? Just whatever happens is meant to be, just at ease, okay? And let, I think you need to, your expectations are very, very high, I do. I think they are. I think your expectations maybe are very high at this time. And they have been, 
and you're only deceiving yourself by, I mean, you shouldn't have these, ex I mean, not that some, expectations are good in some ways, but not all, okay? Because you have to let people be themselves, all right? I see there's delays. Things could be moving quicker, and I think it has to do with, re with the relationship with um, with the lover's card here. There could be a, a strong attraction between you and another person, but I think that you are deceiving yourself by not going with the flow for fear of being hurt. And that's an, that's an ego. I mean, that's pride right there. And you know, Leo, you have a lot of pride. And, and you don't want your pride to be hurt. And it's hindering you. It's hindering your potential for the relationship you're in or the potential for a new relationship. All right. I think your guard is really up and you're just trying to protect your pride and you're trying to protect your heart and you're trying to protect your family and it's really it's very strong you know your pride is very strong and you're only deceiving yourself by not taking a leap of faith so we do have Taurus Virgo Capricorn here we have you which is right here but we also have that's an Aries and a Sagittarius this is a Taurus. This is the Aries. But this, in this reading, it's the center of your reading. It's representing you for the, the need to control and to protect your everything, including your pride. This is um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I see that this, and then we have a Gemini up here. But this right here is telling me that perhaps that negative process is over, that negative thought, that, that feeling of... I need to protect myself, I need to keep my guard up, I need to keep in control, I need to know what's going on at all times, you know, I, I'm not too sure about this, and hopefully that's what's over, and I see that you have been working for on it, and you have, because this is working on it, on letting go of these fears, because it's fears, and you maybe have been seeking guidance, either from above, your inner guide, or it could be a counselor, you know, down here on earth. Material happiness, nine of cups, now you have it twice. Nine of pentacles, you have three nines, I have to tell you, I have to stop right here. Nines are so, so close, okay? It's about fruition. When you get a number nine, it means you're so close to the end of something. You're so close to that completion, all right? You've, you've come a really long way. You have, you have worked on it, all right, you've come a really long way, and you're about to get what you've been, what's owed to you, you know, what is meant to be, you're, you're about to get the completion that is meant to be. This Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. This Nine of Pentacles, in the other deck, it's the woman, and she's got all these pentacles around her, and she's feeling very grateful for all that she has. It's often the widow or the widower or the separated person or something like that. Um, but she's very grateful for all that she has. And she's not um, he or she, she's not um, wanting for anything. So this is an energy for you to be grateful. Be grateful for what you have right now, okay? Six of Wands. Victory. Success. This is also about respect and um, honor. And it's right over you. All right, so I think it's self-respect. And I think the other person involved is probably very respectful of you. Queen of Wands, this is you. Ace of Swords. This is the truth. This is the raw truth of a situation, all right? When the ace of truth, <laughs> the ace of truth, when the ace of swords comes out, it says that you are about to receive or you are receiving clarity at this time. Your thoughts are true and it's right over this guidance, okay? What, whatever you're receiving either from above or from a, a wise person that you respect or from your inner guide it is the truth listen to it pay attention 
This is a raw opportunity handed to you from God that they are giving you the clarity that you seek. What are you going to do with it? This is a gift from above and they're giving you this clarity. How are you going to handle it? What are you going to do? Are you going to have faith? This Queen of Wands is you. All right. This just this just reiterates that this is your reading, and that um, you are you do have the confidence, you do have the courage to move forward. Um, you're not the kind that just sits back and waits. You are trying to prevent any chaos from happening or any hurt, and it's really hurting you in the long run because you're you're so worried about your pride, and you are the master of pride, Leo. You know, with the lion. You are, and it's really, you know, you're you're trying to, you know, oh, what's the word? Protect. You know, got that shield up around your heart. That is, um, it's it's you're deceiving yourself. It's affecting your wishes being fulfilled. Ace of Cups, wonderful. But you must be letting it go because I think that you are. You're letting go of the negativity with this Ten of Swords, and being more grateful for what you have. All right. That's what it looks like to me. And I think, and now we have two aces right next to each other. This is the new, this is love, okay? This is a love. And maybe it's a love for yourself because remember, I think I was saying respect. Maybe you're having more respect for your partner. Maybe you're having more self-respect for yourself. This is love, okay? It's a new welling of emotion. Can be a resurgence of a relationship. The Ace of Cups also says to pay attention to your dreams because they could be vivid at this time and they could be trying to help you or tell you something and at this time. So really pay attention to them. I just have to remind you that you're being offered these gifts from God for <coughs> love and clarity. Well, what are you going to do with them? All right. It could lead to success. It could lead to a lot of mutual respect between you and and another person, or even you yourself, if you choose to take a leap of faith, because you absolutely need to take take a leap of faith, and and just, I know that pride is a very big deal, but you need to go with the flow and let go of your need to control, okay, and to prevent stuff from happening. Everything happens for a reason. This is there's a lesson here. That's why that world card came out, because there's a lesson here. Perhaps you chose this lesson before you were born. All right? The lesson is, is that you need to let go of the need to control and go with the flow and, and learn the lessons that you need to learn. That world card said there, says there's a lesson here to be learned. And I think it has to do with faith and trust. Love makes the difference. I am going to read that one to you. Number 31. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts, which you've had. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Love is strong and can endure anything. If you trust love, everything else will fall into place. If there are challenges, it is important that you allow your heart to remain open. It's true. This is the perfect card for you. It just reiterates everything I just said. Love makes the difference. Let it go. Go with the flow. Have faith and trust. Talk to you next time, Leo.